She said, no way. This is a kid. I don't want to be photographed by a kid. Elizabeth Taylor, give me. Despite that first encounter, photographer Johnny Bozaki will go on to win over the incomparable Liz Taylor and become the personal photographer for Taylor and Richard Burton for more than a decade. They were so kind and so nice to me. They would bring me everywhere, you know, treat me exactly the same way they were treating, you know, in a big hotel, limousine, private jet, helicopter, everything. It was a fantasy filled with drama and familiarity. And I call her baby boobs and she called me gangster. Christopher, Michael, Liza and Elizabeth. But also danger, like the time he fought off a makeup artist who attacked Taylor. This, this guy with this big uh, scissor, you know, very, very long one. He, he, he was going to stab her. And I said, Frank, what are you doing? And he turned and he looked at me and said, get out of here. And Elizabeth screamed again, go, go, he's going to kill you too. And so I, I come close, the guy tried to put the, the scissor on me, I move and I punch him. And um, the guy fell down and went in coma. Although his life would take him away from Taylor into Franklin, Wisconsin, Bozacci spoke with Taylor as recently as two weeks ago and feels honored to have known her and to have captured her in pictures. Great actress, she has a great wife, great mother, great grandmother, <laughs> a great woman, you know. She had all the element who should make a star, you know. I think uh, she's uh, the last star.